In our next lesson, we're going to deal with the idea of making up a beat, understanding more about our keyboard on our computer, and using that to make the beat with. Also, to understand more about the project right here, pad perform, pads, and cue links. Now, our first lesson, of course, was about pressing, for example, let me go back up here first of all. Our first lesson was about the browser, finding sounds, right? You're going to pull up the file browser, or you're going to pull up your expansion browser, or you're going to pull up the browser here for full expansions and everything else you have to view and check out programs and download samples into the song, right? For the project. So these keys work that way because they are on to work. Now you can also use the keys as pads, like on an MPC or an MPK. Now here, for example, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, we have this icon here, which is a, like a keyboard and a slash is across that. If I put my mouse there and I click, you'll see now it says pads. I'll click one more time. Now it says MIDI. I'll click again and it's off. So by putting my mouse there, I can see what's happening. I know it's off. That means I can hit the F, B, and X keys, and I'll be able to open up my file browser. I hit the B again, turned it off. But now I want to use these keys like pads. So I'll click it again. Now they're pads. So now the first key I want to hit will be Z. That's the kick drum. Then X, C, V, then a, S, D, F, then Q, W, E, R, and one, two, three, four. Those act as pads, like a 16 pad MPC device, which is great. You can trigger stuff in any way you want to. You don't need an MPC for that. Now also, if I hit it again, and let's say I have keyboard. I think we have a keyboard set up here in track number two. We do, I can play chord. It's kind of cool. And that's A up to K. A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L. Up to L there, see, not bad. So you can see we can use our keyboard to play chords as well. Now this is Fabric Bells, it says here, right? So as you can see, that's right there. I can also change these sounds to whatever I'd like to. I have, I can go to here. Or I can do this. Now you'll notice too here that we have those sounds actually, or actually these keyboard programs in our MPC. And you'll notice here in samples, I have a bunch of samples. Now I've got all my samples showing here right now that I have inside my sample pool for my projects. Now next to that here I have programs and I have sequences below that and that's in project so these are samples and i go here to project programs i'll see programs i'll see the programs now watch this i'm gonna come here and go here to trap and i'll see all the samples in a trap program you'll see the trap icon right here i need to come to here i can hear it once i put my cursor here i can now hear that i can just hit it and i hear it so you can hear the sounds in the sample pool, but you must go to the icon to play them back. In case you want to grab that sample, for example. I may like that sample, right? So I may go to a pad and put it there. I may go back here to my sequencer. I'll go back to track one. And now, I'm going to put that in one of these other spaces here. 
And as I hit these pads as well, you'll see their sounds appear here in my sample pool as it comes up. If I pull this kit out and I keep hitting pads, I'll notice that none of these sounds are from that program. If I go to here, they're from that program. 